I decided to do something. The light is so bright, but I decided to do something a little bit different today for this week's video. I wanted to do like a morning routine, a very realistic morning routine because I feel like you guys probably see a bunch of influencers morning routine, which I guess I am like a content creator, but I have a, like a regular job. Um, so I wanted to do like a morning routine for that. So anyway, it's seven o'clock on my alarm. Just went off. I have beautiful things in my head. And we're gonna get up. It's Monday. To get the day started, the week started. Cutest bed partner. He is so sweet. Seth is out of town this week. So who's yours keeping me company? Well, he always sleeps up here. I cannot believe I did this. I never do this. I slept in my contacts last night. I was doing laser hair removal yesterday. I got like a device to do my own. And, um... So I needed to keep my contacts on pretty late so I could see where I was doing the laser hair removal. But then I guess I forgot to take them out before I fell asleep. And I don't, I don't wear daily contacts. I wear like two week contacts and I wear them for literally forever. So I'm just taking them out and putting them back in so that they're not messed up for the day. I will absolutely die if I have to wear glasses all day. My glasses are so stretched out on the side, like they can't keep them up. I'm gonna take my, I have my glass of water. I usually try to drink a full glass of water in the morning and take my supplements. I don't get a, like, my stomach doesn't get bad. Um, I don't get nauseous if I take my supplements on an empty stomach, so I take them without anything. I also don't eat breakfast before I leave the house, so you're not going to see me eating breakfast this morning. I pack a breakfast and I eat it at lunch. I mean, and I eat it at work. Typically around like 10, 10.30 is when I like to eat breakfast. So right now, supplement-wise, I'm honestly just taking a vitamin D3 supplement. I used to take multivitamins from Ritual. I like them, I like the ingredients, but they're getting really expensive, so I decided to like take a break for a little while. A good tip for if you're bad at taking supplements is do not put your head back, tuck your chin when you're taking the supplement if you're not good at swallowing it. I feel like I have showed you guys the recipe for my matcha, but I'm gonna show it again just for fun. So I do about a full teaspoon of matcha. This is my favorite brand, matcha Naoki. I think is how you pronounce it. I tried it in the Chamberlain one and it just doesn't feel as, how would I say? It tastes more watery, so I feel like it is not like less pure, I don't know, less concentrated matcha powder, but it'll do, like if you have to use it. You can, but it wouldn't be my first choice. I have this little sifter. And I'll sift my matcha through here. And then I add probably about a fourth of a cup of water to the matcha. Take my whisk and whisk it. Once it's there, I will add probably like a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, full teaspoon of honey. I don't measure anything. Besides the matcha, I do measure the matcha. I finish off the rest of my glass of water and then use this glass again. I like a lot of ice in my matcha, and then I love using cashew milk. I just bought some coconut milk this week that I want to try using with matcha because that sounds really good and would make it like nice and creamy i'm gonna use up my cashew milk and then i like to add a little bit of a vegan whipping cream like a heavy cream to it just to make it really creamy because cashew milk itself is not super creamy mix those two together and then 
We will add the matcha. And I also get my matcha powder from Amazon. They're all linked in my Amazon shop. And then this cute glass I got from Anthropology. They come out with different ones every season, so it's super fun um, to get those ones. I, they have lemon ones I want to get right now. And then this cute little glass straw with a flower. I always try to show you guys, but my camera doesn't focus. But yeah, when I'm not like talking through that process, it probably takes me about five minutes. It's now like 7 25 and I'm going to sit outside. I do a devotional and I do the five minute journal for probably about 10 minutes, sit outside and then I'll come in and get ready. Okay, these are the things that I do. My five minute journal and then I have this Max Lucado Grace for the moment. It's just like a short devotional that I like to read every morning. If you haven't seen the five minute journal, it gives you a date and then like a little prompt or essentially something that is nice to say. This is funny that this is Charles Darwin quote and I'm about to read my devotional. But anyway, in the long standing history of humankind, those who learn to collaborate and improvise most effectively have prevailed. It's just a nice little way to start your day and then they have an evening part that I honestly never fill out. I really should. Also, every morning I give my dogs Prozac. <laughs> I did not prescribe it. Our veterinarian prescribed it um, for one of my dogs, Camper, because he has OCD and is crazy and he takes it very easily. But my other dog, Hoosier, who is my oldest, has terrible anxiety. Like, won't we'll take a walk most days. Camper literally just takes it, it's so easy. And is like scared of his own shadow. And so honestly, like last week, I was like, I really want to start giving him Prozac and I have a vet appointment coming up this Friday. So now is the perfect time to like ask them if it's a good option and prescribe it. And if not, I can wean him off of it. Um, but yeah, so we have started that. It's been almost a week. No changes yet, but with any, come here, Hoosier. He tries to run away with me from me. Come here, come here now. He hates it do this every morning. Come here, Hoosh. He acts like I'm killing him. I'm filming for both TikTok and YouTube. Ah. So I'm literally both my phone going and my camera. But now is the long part. <laughs> Life hack, I make my bed while I brush my teeth. That is all made, I'm still have time to spare. Now, I do not wash my face. In the morning, I just splash it with some water. I'm using the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream for All Skin Types, Anti-Aging, Transforming, Moisturizing Super Cream. And I really actually like it. They got sent it to me as a PR product, but it's really like thick and creamy. It's thick and creamy, but it's not too thick and creamy where like it feels like it makes you greasy. Um, I really prefer, I'm not quite sure what type of moisturizer they are, but the opposite of a water moist, like a water-based moisturizer. Like I have the Tatcha one right here and it, it smells amazing. It's just a little bit too water-based for me. I don't like it to feel like I'm putting water on my skin. I want it to feel like lotion and then I just put on their eye cream morning and night. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do it morning and night. <laughs> then comes the big wigs. Sunscreen, of course. Right now I'm using my apostrophe sunscreen, their SPF 43. And another hack that I have for you to help with like um, under eye darkening and any like fine lines and wrinkles is make sure that you put your um, sunscreen underneath your eyes like with your pointer fingers this was prescribed to me by a dermatologist and then we'll go in with the makeup all of my makeup products right now are typology i have them all linked in my like to know it i think or if they're not linked now i will go ahead and link them before this video comes out they're all amazing 10 out of 10 like if you like a natural kind of like no makeup makeup look typology stuff is amazing because it's skincare but it's also doubles as makeup 
Just put a little bit of their concealer under my eyes. The concealer has caffeine in it. So it's very nice, like brightening, wakes you up. And you can cover any spots. Did some major picking at two pimples underneath my um, nose this weekend, which was bad. Now for brows, I am using my Anastasia Brow Freeze because it does help them stay a little bit better than the Typology ones. I like to use the Typology ones on the weekends and this one during the week. My absolute favorite product from Typology is their bronzing drops. You guys, these things are incredible. This is how I put them on to like contour, but you can put them on everywhere. And I'm gonna show you in one second what it looks like blended out. Okay, this is post blend. Look how pretty the contour is. And like up close, you can see the shimmer. It's so pretty. I'm gonna go in with my Rare Beauty blush today. And I set everything with the Professional Super Setter. I love this stuff. It is huge. It's gotta be at least like 750 right now. I like to, so I don't start patients until 8.30 and my commute is anywhere from like 10 to 20 minutes. Um, so if I need to get ready and I need to leave in the next like 10 to 15 minutes. These turned out really good today. I haven't done these in so long. I have one tip for unicorn girls, it's don't brush them out. There's no heat, there's nothing to like make them stay. Um, my hair is quite dirty, I think I washed it like Thursday of last week and it's Monday. I'm just adding some Batiste dry shampoo. I like to use this one in the morning and I love to use the day one. I used this last night. At night, like before I go to bed, I will spray this all over my hair and then let it sit and it is so good. Like, okay, so I washed my hair Thursday night, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. This is day four hair. Like, that's kind of crazy. Okay, we're gonna go put our scrubs on, pack our lunch really quick, and then we'll be ready to go. Decided to go with my fig scrubs in extreme blue today. Whenever I buy figs, I get the, I think it's the Katarina, I think that's what it's called, one pocket top, and the Livingston High Waisted. Don't go with the low waisted, you gotta get the high waisted. <laughs> put on a little perfume. Using the YSL, what is it called? Libre? It's very like vanilla. I don't know, it's very girly. I don't like fruity perfumes. I like more like vanilla esque perfumes, and that's what it is. So, okay, let's go back to lunch. Packing a silk coconut milk Greek yogurt. These are vegan, and they have like 10 grams of protein in it. like nice and thick and creamy which I love Got a few raspberries in here which I already washed so don't freak out some blueberries and I think I have some walnuts I'm gonna put on top okay no walnuts that I can find we're gonna use some like fruit and nut mix just for like a little crunch and that'll be my breakfast, got a granola bar for a snack, like middle of the day or in the afternoon usually. And then for lunch, I have an enchilada leftover from yesterday. And that's it. All right, you guys, it is time to go. I That whole routine took me about an hour, even though it feels like it took me longer, just probably because I was talking you guys through it. So that's my very, very realistic working girl normal routine. I feel like it's nice to see because all of the influencers get up, you know, walk outside, do a cold plunge, um, go get a coffee, and then start work. And it's like, no, some of us like actually have to go into the office. So that is my normal working routine. I have my 
several bags my matcha i'm about to head to work i'm gonna listen to an episode of um what is it called this is a good podcast recommendation if you guys like true crime podcast counterclock they just released the last two episodes i believe or a few of the episodes last week so i'm gonna listen to those i hope you guys enjoy this video and i will see you in the next vlog bye guys